How much money does a physical therapist make? 2020 has brought up a number of changes from the COVID crisis to the upcoming election, and the information that I've learned might just challenge what you think you know is fair compensation for a PT. I'm gonna share with you not just this research I've done personally over the last six months by coaching other private practice owners through this pandemic, but I'm gonna also share with you research that's been published so that you can determine whether you're being taken advantage of or compensated fairly. And I'm gonna share all that with you coming right up. Hey guys, my name is Will Humphreys. If we're meeting for the first time, I'm a physical therapist, entrepreneur. I've owned multiple companies in healthcare. The whole point of this channel is to help you increase your income, impact, and freedom. And in today's video, I'm reviewing compensation for physical therapists. I have done this recently through research, both in reports, but in terms of coaching, gathered a ton of data as things have changed in 2020. And I'm gonna share all that with you right now. If you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button because that helps me make videos like these for you. So first we're gonna look at this report that web PT does every year called the Annual Physical Therapy Guide. It releases information, and I'll put a copy to that report in the description below, but ultimately, I want you to know that there are 233,000 physical therapists in the United States currently, and their average annual compensation is $90,000 a year. That breaks out to about $43.35 per hour. For many people watching this who are PTs, you're probably thinking, man, that's a lot higher than I'm making, but hang in there. For people who are new to physical therapy, there are different settings in our industry. And so this report is a summary of all of them, outpatient, inpatient, home health, and so on. So ultimately don't worry if you're getting paid less than $90,000 a year and you're in an outpatient setting. This video is gonna focus on that setting because that's the practices I used to own and coach in. But if you'd like information in these other settings, go to PT Progress. That's a YouTube channel. I'll put that in the description below as well. A buddy of mine by the name of Tim runs that channel and he does an amazing job. So what do outpatient orthopedic physical therapists make? There's factors that influence that before I break down some averages. There are four specific factors that influence it. The first being the state in which you live. Some states just reimburse higher than others. If you're in Alaska, you're gonna make more money because they need to pay more to get you out there. But the government recognizes that and they compensate higher as well. The high highest reimbursing states in the country are Alaska, Nevada, California, and New Jersey. Unfortunately, most PTs, they determine where they're gonna work based off where their friends and family are and not just money alone. So if you're being stuck to a specific state, you can still have hope because there's other factors you can look at. The second influencing factor is whether or not you work in a rural versus metro environment. No matter what state you live in, if you're further away from the bigger cities, you can earn more money on average obviously because they need to pay you more to get you out past the shorter commutes. So in the state that you live in, know that that's a factor you can utilize to your advantage if you wanna increase your income. The third factor is whether or not you go into leadership. PT leaders can significantly make more money than others. Simply put, because it's a different job. PTs who treat patients versus treat patients and lead a team are gonna have that additional incentive because PT owners look to those leaders to drive the business up and make the impact in the communities that they want. So that's that's why if you're interviewing for a new job, it's really important to ask if they have leadership development programs that might help you earn more money in the long run. And the fourth most significant influencing factor of how much you can make as a physical therapist is your experience. New grads, simply put, get paid less than those who have experience, especially those who have leadership experience. So let's look at some ranges. I interviewed a company in Alaska, various in Arizona, the Midwest, as well as the East Coast. When you're talking about Alaska level, new grads are gonna make somewhere in the 80 thousand dollar range. The rest of the country, you can look at the averages within some degree of comparison. So new grads in the rest of the country will usually make somewhere along the lines of 67 to $78,000 a year. It's a $10,000 range based in those states that they can be influencing. If you have three to five years of experience, physical therapists traditionally make somewhere between 75 and $85,000 a year in the outpatient setting. And then if you are an individual who specializes or if you're a leader, most physical therapists make somewhere between 85 and $95,000 a year. That being said, your company's size and how big the clinic is that you're leading will influence that. I've worked with individuals who make $120,000 a year as physical therapists because they're leaders of larger clinics and they simply got a better negotiating deal. If you'd like to learn the mistakes to avoid a negotiating salaries, I'll put that in the card above so you can take a look at that. But ultimately, what you do and how you make is on average within those ranges. So do you disagree with me? I'd love to hear your thoughts on what physical therapists make in your area in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and crush that like button so I can continue to make videos like these for you. Thanks again for watching, until next time.